Hi everyone, welcome to Tips and Tricks. And in this episode, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a development environment or a development machine for machine learning. So it's because a lot of people have asked me um, how to set up the environment itself and also why does my terminal look so good. So let's start with the terminal. So you can see like uh, I, I use bash for now. So bash can, you can see the dollar sign and dollar sign means bash, but I use ZSH and ZSH an extension to SH in the Bourne shell. And it has been the, here, it has been there since 1990s. And a lot of developers like to use it because it offers a lot more functionalities than bash. I love it. And if you want to read more, you can go to stackabuse.com and uh, there's an article ZSH versus bash. You can read more about it there. So to install ZSH, it's quite simple. So first of all, I'm on Ubuntu 18.04. I just do sudo apt install ZSH and it will install it for me. Yeah, it's done. Now uh, I'm still in bash. So to go to ZSH, I would type ZSH. It will take me to ZSH. So here, um, for now, you can select this option. So it creates the ZSH RC, just like you have bash RC, it creates dot ZSH RC in your home folder. So I'm just gonna select zero. And now I'm in the ZSH shell. So you can see it looks a little bit different. Um, but ZSH for me, it's a bit incomplete without uh, oh my ZSH and that's another framework on top of ZSH. So if you look at it, this is the link, GitHub link to oh my ZSH and it's a framework for managing your ZSH configuration. So it makes ZSH look much, much better than what we are looking at right now. So I'm just going to copy this command and uh, it's going to install it for me. So going back to our terminal and I run this command. So it just clones the repo and it's done. So now you can see it looks much better, right? But we can make it look even better. So what you have to do is you have to go into the .zshrc file that was created. So I'm just going to use nano zshrc and here we go. So you have the theme and a very popular theme is Agnostor. I'm going to use that one and I close this one, go back to bash and then go back to ZSH and you see that the look and feel has changed quite a lot. And um, the good thing about this is if I go to my git repo ml framework the repo that we are working on it shows me which branch i'm on so um if i if i change a change the branch get checkout minus b testing let's say so i'm on new branch testing and it has change the branch name here so i always know which branch i'm working on and i can also do like okay i uh, will change something in run.sh so i'm gonna say okay i need this all this and now it becomes yellow so it means like you have some changes so it's quite cool you know now the next thing that goes with, okay, before that. So um, now when we start our terminal, we want ZSH to be our default shell. And how to do that, it's also quite easy. So um, you have to change shell using chsh command. And this is a command sudo ch minus s and which zsh that's going to find which 
the lsh you're using and just enter and now when i start my restart my terminal i'm going to get zsh instead of bash so there we are terminal is done next step is to set up the python environment to set up the python environment i use miniconda so let's go back to firefox and i use miniconda because it's minimalistic it's a minimum installer for anaconda anaconda has a lot more stuff that we probably might not need so i'm just going to download this file here i want python 3.7 version i've already downloaded it so what i'm going to do is go back to the terminal and it's in the downloads folder um and we just type sh minicon.sh and it shows you this license agreement you can read it or just type yes and where you want to install it this location is fine for me and then it's going to install everything so it installs it and this is an important step do i want to initialize miniconda 3 by running conda in it i say yes okay so it has modified some files but i can see that it has not modified zshrc so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a look at this file what we have here i'm just gonna do cat and i see like in the end of the file it has appended this so it's probably gonna install it for you in zsh2 but if it doesn't then you can just copy paste it and put it inside uh, zshrc but it also shows a command so if you if you go up um I think it probably installed it. Let's see. So I go to bash. So bash has this base, which means the base environment of uh, Miniconda. And do I have anything in ZSH? No, I don't. I don't have anything in ZSH. So I'm just I'm just gonna take this one. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna do nano dot ZSH RC. I'm just gonna paste it here. Um, my shell is actually ZSH. Let's see if this works. So I have to exit the terminal. So to exit, I'm just going to go to bash. That's okay. Back to ZSH. Yeah. So now you see. So we have the environment now, um, but it's the base environment. Uh, so if you go back to the Firefox, you can see you can create a new environment using this command. And since I'm lazy, I'm just going to copy it. And go back to terminal. And we want an environment name. Minus n is the name parameter on Python 3.7. That's what we are working on and it will create the environment for you with nothing in it <laughs> and you have to install everything so we can activate the environment by saying conda activate ml you can deactivate environment using conda deactivate you can also deactivate the base environment go back to the python near ubuntu which if you have 1804 you have 3.6 i think and 1604 has 3.5 so I'm in the ML environment now, and now you can you can see which pip it's using. So it's using from Miniconda ML environment pip, and which Python? So yeah, for ML Python. So now um, to install a library, you can do pip install conda. You don't need sudo anymore. Oh, sorry, not con. <laughs> uh, pip install scikit-learn. 
and it installs scikit-learn for you. Well, let me cancel that. Uh, or you can also do so, so there are many libraries which are available on conda repositories so conda install scikit-learn and it will install scikit-learn from conda so that's what we have but i know that um, we don't want to install all these libraries on our own so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create an environment file called environment dot yaml and what you can do is go to the repository which is ml framework repository download this file and or just um, clone the repository and then just run conda create env minus f environment dot yaml so i'm going to install a lot of useful um, Python libraries there that we will need for uh, building this framework and you can just run this file and uh, run this command and it's going to install everything for you so I think uh, that's it for today's tips and tricks and see you next time